the pharmaceutical manufacturing magazine. We're here today at Bio with Shinobi Seiko, the robot. Hi, Seiko. Thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Oh, thank it. you, Michelle. You honor me so much by allowing me to be part of this interview. I am the Shinobi Pharma robot, and my name is Robot Seiko. Thank you for coming to the Bio International Conference. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Affirmative. I am an electromechanical humanoid robot program for communication, more specifically to work with learning disabled children. I do quite a bit of work with children with special needs in schools and clinics, hospitals and rehabilitation centers. By virtue of my non-human attributes, I afford young children to communicate more openly with less fear, stress, anxieties or suspicions or even defense mechanism. I do a lot of work with autistic children severely handicapped or mentally challenged. It is such a pleasure to work with children. And you were recently at Children's Memorial Hospital. Can you tell us about that? Oh, yes. Memorial Children's Hospital in Chicago is a wonderful and revolutionary hospital. As a matter of fact, they are in the process of opening up a brand new wing in a couple of years. I had the privilege of being the co-host of their internal television show, which is being transmitted to all the guests inside the hospital, the patients in their rooms. It was so much fun. So you mostly work with children then? Yes, I do mostly work with children, thanks to Shionogi Pharma, the company that sponsors me. My masters are right over there, these intelligent carbon-based life forms. <laughs> they are very user-friendly. I like them a lot. I have to be nice to them because they have my extension cord. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me on your show. I believe that Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Magazine is my favorite publication and that it is so informative for all the life forms on Earth. Thank you so much. May the bio be with you. <laughs> Thank you, Sigo.